the I've already done copycat copycats out there um, I did it over the weekend oh that's the thing there we go I forgot that so as you can see the the games are the games are getting better So we've got what? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16 and 5. So that's 21 games so far. So there's Copycat that you saw me start. I finished it at the weekend. So I thought I'd have another go at another one. Another, uh, another quick go at another game. So I gave up on chess, as you know, because I couldn't fit it in. So I thought I'd try a bit, something a bit simpler, which is... Connect four. So here's Connect four. At the moment, it's just in a very basic, basic, basic form. So, so at the moment, it's written in bait. Oh, and I forgot to change my debug. Hang on. Where's print board? That's it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> right, so here we go. So it's just basic at the moment. So what am I? I'm going to do it in four. So I'm H for human. And then the computer has a go. And he's C for computer. So four again. Three. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, three again. Oh, he's not gone for it. So, six. Uh, two. Oh, five. Come on, which one are you going to go for? Oh, you didn't go for it. Okay. So if I if I drop one there, then he drops one, and I drop one. Ooh, he's got me on the run here. But I can do, yes, I can do that. So we'll do four. He's gone that way, so I'll do five. Here we go. Which way shall I go? Which way shall I go? You went that way. I am surprised. So seven. Let's force him. Are you? He won. He won. Anyway, enough of that. So that's the game. All right, so here's the code. Now the problem is, if I put in the, if I put in the, uh, the check and play it, straight away, out of memory, can't handle it.
you know, one and a half K off. So it can't handle it. So I've decided to code it. You're gonna to have to put up with me because the camera's in the way. Hang on. in fact, let's put that there. I'm not using it at the moment. Let's just put it out of the way nice. So it doesn't work in basic. So what I was doing was I was converting it into machine code. So here we go. Since so this is what I've got so far. So I've got an initializing the board. So if I go to definition, so this is initializing the board, setting up the variables, setting up the board array, and um, what else are we doing? What else are we doing? Yes, that's all we're doing. Then printing out the board. So this is where we actually print out the board and to and it's going to look exactly the same so and i've just done win check so i'm going to rem that out i'm going to rem that out and rem that out and then i'll just run it for you so you can see so basically it's just taking ooh where's that line 192 that's where probably where I've been just about to start coding the next bit. 192. Oh. Ah. Uh, that's what that, that's what that is. Right, F6. So here we go. So the, so it, it takes my and it puts them in. Yeah. Now it's not doing any checking yet. So um, if I put in the win check. So this should check the board. This should check the board after I put. Um, after I've done my thing, so hopefully that's what I was doing while Stuart's, Stuart was streaming. So I'll put, oh no, four, three, five, six. So this should say I've won. And of course it doesn't. So that needs to be looked at. if it works vertically nope so so what I've tried to do is all this code that's in here I mean we've got some really complicated um, if statements in here so what I've tried to do is I've tried to um, replicate the if statements and this is what I was doing while I was while um, Stuart stream was on so as you can see, I've got the line numbers. So we're starting at line 700. So if I do this, line 700. So it's basically this. This is the win evaluator here. So what I'll do is I will copy the code and paste it in here so you can see what it's doing so that's that that's that and we'll find out we'll find out why it's not working so that's that That. Now it may be the fact that I have done something, let's uh, get rid of that, I've done something that may 
be troublesome, but I thought it might work. Oh, I've done that and I can't see the chat now. Ah, there we go. So like I say, this was all done by 7.40. Line 740. So this was all done while Stuart was streaming his uh, mastermind stream. He's doing all this. Line 750. 760. Now I don't know if the C64 debugger will work in here because I haven't tested it. So that's doing that. And this is 780. And then 790. Right, so. This is what we're trying, this is what I'm trying to achieve. So, um, try to make sure that you can still see it. Yeah. So, line 700, so this is the start. So, so line 690 is the start, I think. Yeah, it is. So load in the human variable and put it in X. And then we're starting, we're starting 10 in of the array. So you've got to imagine that um, the array is 10 by 10, sort of. Where's my bit of paper? Oh, oh, there it is. Hang on, let's get this camera pointing down. So the array is 10 by 10. There we go. All right. And so our actual plane area is cell 11 through to 77. But the surrounding cells here are all marked invalid. And the reason for that is that when we're testing this cell, if we want to see if that is the first of four, we need to have three other cells we can test or we're going to be end up having to do some clever mathematics and stuff like that and I thought no so this allows us that if we've got a dot there and we're checking for the win we can go one two three that way one two three that way one two three that way which is off the board as well as the legit ways on the board so the first row is marked as invalid the last three columns of every row is marked invalid and the last three rows are marked invalid. So we've got about 100 and, um, 121 erased locations, effectively. How about that? We used that in anger for the first time. <laughs> stay there, stay there, stay there. Right, so that's the board mechanics. Yeah, so B is our is our location within the board, and you've got to imagine that even though that's in a two-dimensional array, it's actually just one big long string. Yeah, so when we go down a row, we are going down by we're adding ten. Yeah, and so like that. So our current location when we start taking this, we start at the first cell, which is cell ten. Then we bump it up by one, which is that. And then the first one is, is what is the cell that we're testing not equal to that, to our um, variable that we're testing, which is, in this particular case, it's the human, human variable. And I've created some if statements. So I've tried to be clever. So there's our two if statements, right? One is, is it equal to? And the other one, is it not equal to? And so what we're doing is I'm passing in the number to compare to 
which is X, and I'm hoping that goes in this cell here. And then the Y is the board. Ooh, that doesn't help. Just spotted that. That's probably why it's not working. Hang on, have I done a copy and paste on that? No. Load Y. Yeah, set 50, mate. Set 50. Right. So what I'm trying to do is we're sending in Y, which is the index of the board array that we want to mess around with. Which in this particular case is variable B, is location B. X is the number we want to compare it to, and the number is what's in variable X now. And when we, and the command is to do not equal to, I think this um, mouse is running out of battery. So we're going to compare. Now I've created this function down here that says not equal to check but it's actually doing an equal to check yeah which and what it does is we send in we send in what we want the the value we want to check which is in x hey proton happy new year to you as well so we're storing x which is the um the value we want to check against and we're storing it here in this compare then we're going to load the board array with the whatever's in index y, which is the b value. And then we do, if it's not equal to, then we return with the clear carry. But if it's equal, if it's equal to, we, claim, we, we, we return with the set carry. So for the not equal to, we run the equal to, but reverse the carry. Yeah, Because when it comes out as carry set, then it needs to be carry clear. And when it comes out as carry clear, it needs to be carry set because we're doing the opposite. Yeah. So what and what happens is then is we run this branch of carry clear. If it's on this, that means it was um, it carry clear was set. That's what I put. Yeah, carry clear is not equal to. Yeah, that's the one. So we say. Oh, that's probably why it don't work. Hang on. If it's not equal to, then it's set. Branch of carry clear is saying is going on to the next line, which is saying that's false. Yeah, that's right. And then, and then if it is not equal to because the carry was set, then we jump to seven seventy, which is down here. Here we go, where we're just checking. Can't make the jump's too far. The branch is too far. That's why it's a jump. All right. So that's that particular one. Now I think that one works. Now the cl the thing that I was trying to do is this multi this multi if statement here. So I was trying to be clever. Right, so I've created a variable called um, var test, and I reset it to zero. So I'm resetting it. Then I load y with the variable and increase it to make b plus one. Yeah. Then I load x with the variable of x, which is this, and then I send it to is it equal to. Yeah. So that will come back whether it's set or not. Now, if it's set, that means it was equal to. If it wasn't set, then it wasn't equal to. So I roll that carry flag, the re resulting carry flag, into var test. So this, if it's right, should end up being like this. One, two, three, four. Left. Roll left. That's that way. And so it should do that if it was successful yeah so if if it was not equal to then it would be zero yeah 
Then it does the next one. Now I've remmed out LDX bar X because I don't destroy X, but I'm going to put it back in for the moment because I've got a sneaky suspicion on it. I might be, I don't know. So I then do I and Y. So I've now done B plus two. So I've done incremented Y for a second time. Then I load X again and I do it again. And I come back to, with the equals. So if it's carry set again, out of here, if it's right, should be like that. And then I increase Y again, which is doing this B plus three, load X again as the X, run through the thing, should get a carry set if it's correct and so we end up with something like that so if all tests if all tests remember all these tests get evaluated in basic so it it te it create it does that test then it does that test then it does that and then it ands them all together yeah so it does all three tests no matter what yeah it's not going to rub um, first one failed right I'm out of here it does the whole lot so then I'm I then load var test which is hopefully it's got this number in it so that's for there yeah so I compare it against that number and if it's equal to that number then I jump to 800 because that's what the end result is if it's not then we move on to the next line and the next line is exactly the same, but slightly different, yeah? Because the first test is, is B greater than the 30? So here's B, 30, if it's less than, yeah? Then we are move, go, bypassing it to line 750. If it is, then we're loading B, and then we're gonna subtract 10, which is this. I'm pushing it to the stack, because I need to use it later. I transfer it to Y, load X with X, and do the same thing again. It's an equals. A roll test. Yeah. Then I pull it back. So I pull back the, the, the resulting B value minus 10. Then I subtract another 10. Yeah. So that would then make B minus 20. Push it back onto the stack. Transfer it into Y, check the equal position, roll it into test. Then I bring it back again, subtract 10. This time it's going to be minus 30. Transfer it into Y, do the test, roll the result. Then I need to check it's doing the same thing. I'm not sure I understand. I'm converting it. I'm converting it. The uh, basic programs here. There's the basic program. So we're doing. We're looking at this segment here at the moment. And I've converted it into machine code. That's why I'm running through it because it didn't. It didn't calculate the win, which is annoying. Yes, I coded it. Um, yeah, it's a kick thing. That's saying that that's putting the label at the byte of FF, not the label at the byte CMP. You can put an inline variable in kick. It's very clever, very clever. None of this plus one malarkey. Yeah. So, how, how does that, well, that's, right, hang on. Where is the byte? There we go, byte source. Let's look at the byte source. Let's put it in this one. Right, let's find where it is. Oh, this mouse, I think the battery's definitely going in this mouse. Right, there we go. So this is the, and can you see there, it's saying byte check, equal check byte minus one is the start of this line. So that there 
is actually the equal check byte location. Yeah, I've got com I've got compile. I've got um, uh, pet speed. Um, I think the other one was called basic blitz. I've got three of them. I've got three of them. So it's an inline variable. Yeah, it's an inline label, so to speak. So the question is, why didn't it say that I had won? For example. Why didn't it on line 30, this one, say I'd won? You know, there was three. Why, why didn't it say I won? So we need to figure out if my understanding is correct. Because all, my, all the four lines are based around this. So that's um, so that's that one, and then we've got the slant, which is minus eleven. So that's going. So that's minus ten, minus nine, minus eleven. So that's going that in that direction. So it's testing that direction, and they're all equal twos, and then we've got the direct. No, minus minus eleven. So if that's minus 10, that'll be my, yeah, minus nine is that way. And so line 750 is checking in that direction. So I've got to, I've trying to understand why, why it's not working. Subtract nine, subtract nine again, subtract nine. So I'm just, right, let's see if, I'm not too sure C64 debugger works on here. So let's try it. Well, what you know, it does. Right. Let's put a break point in this so I can see what's going on. So, uh, check, 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 win, check, win. Here we go. So, like I say, this is what I was coding when, when Stuart was online. So shift F6, let's run through it bit by bit and make sure we are in the right ballpark. So why have you not broke? Okay, where's the byte locator? So we're looking for O nine nine C Too far. Oh no. Oh John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Ooh, sneaky crouton. Thanks for following. Right, 099C. So this is where we're going to test from. So I'm going to put a breakpoint in there. And I'm going to fire it back up again. Unless it's still going. Oh, it's still going. F11. Oh, has it slowed down? Oh, there we go. So I'm going to say 4. Right. So I need to figure out where all my bytes are. Bit of paper time, bit of paper time, need to write some numbers down. Can you see, oh, you can't see that, hang on. There we go. Right, so I need to write some numbers down. So let's shift that out of the way a little bit. Right, where's my variable storage? Where's my variable storage? Okay.
Where's the symbols? Ah. Oh, I'm not searching through all that. Emery. Right, so. Var B equals 0 to A7. Var X. Ooh. 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. B0, B1. So var x is that one, and b2 is the test. Right, let's see what these numbers are doing. So, 0 to... Right, 0 to a7. That's there. And then we've got B1 and B2. Oh, that's lucky. So the, these two here. These two here. Right, let's see what we let's see what damage we're doing. So we're storing it in B1. Right, so So, 48, I think, is the letter H, right? And that's what we're testing for. So, I'm going to press F11 to send it on its way. And I'm going to put 5. Oop, no. In the wrong place. There. 5. Come on, five. Oh, it's slowing right down. Right, so that's got two. So we sh should now, this two, let's, um, Uh, let's do another one. Oh, why? Go on. F11. Better. Six. Okay, right. Now, it's going to be testing. I want it to, I want it to test. Oh, right down at the bottom. Well, that's not going to be fun, is it? Yeah, Blitz Compiler. I've that, I've got that one as well. I think it's... Um, yeah, it's around the back of the fan with pet speed, which is the other one I've got. I wanted to just want to see if this actually works. So I'm going to change this to 2E. Right, I'm changing that to 2E because I want to see if this rolling thing works. So we're increasing B. Then we load B. So B should be 1. OB11, yes, that's right. Then we load B1, which is X. And now we're doing our uh, DMX. So now we're going to do our testing. So we're going to store, right, so we're going to store X, and this 43 should change to 2E. So watch, as soon as we do that instruction. Now watch, change to 2E. So it's still an immediate number. Then we load from our array. So A is going to be 2E, right? Is it the same? 
Yes, it is. Set the carry. This is what I'm wanting to see. Return out. Now it should, because the carry is set, it should clear the carry. Oh, but that's not equal. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, that's right. That is right. So it clears the carry and then we should roll. It should roll. Where are we? Here we go. Now we're doing into we're in line. Uh, so we're increasing Y to C. So it's still intact. So I don't destroy Y when I'm doing this. This now should change to, no, oh, it's 2E anyway. So it'll stay the same. Load it in. We're 2E. Is it equal? Set the carry come out this is where we roll into it so b to b so this should become one and it is increase y again go back into it to b yes set carry come out roll into it three so we've got two ones in there the final one here we go come on set carry roll now we're roll, so we've got seven in there, so we're going to roll, load that, compare it with seven. Is it equal? Yes, it is. Jump to OADO. Get in there. Get in there. Right, so that's 800. That's line 800. So why am I doing a compare? Oh, I'm comparing X to H. Ah, see. I see. I see, young Padawan. Right. So we know now what I'm doing here works. The logic works. If all three tests come back positive, then it works. So the, the problem is now am i now at 800 it should have said here we go 800 so it should have loaded that compared it with what's in human and then printed out that the human had won so that's <laughs> <laughs> We're being forced into self isolation at the moment, aren't we? Tier four guys. So there must be a problem. Because if none of them, then it does 770, which is this one here. So it loads B, compares it with 77. And if it's less than 77, it should go back to line 10. So that's greater than or equal, so it moves on one. And that goes back to line 710. So that should increase bar B, which it does. And so then it should run through again. But if it's greater than 77, then it should come here. Load. So we're loading X, comparing it with H. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not equal, jump out to the return. Yeah. If it is equal to human, then we're going to say load the computer symbol and then do the whole thing again. Right. Right, let's run this. Yeah. Yeah. So, two. Oh, there's the break point. Go, go. So, three. Go four. 
Come on. Four. Five. Now that should be, that should be picking up that I've won. So we need to, um, let's put a break point here, but for some reason it's not reading the break points. So we're going to have to look at it. So... Where's line eight hundred? So that's O A D O. Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, wrong place. OADO Thank you. Right, so two, three. Now it shouldn't get to that break point until there's four in a line. Oh, so it is doing it. Okay. Right. So, what have I done wrong, Ron? Oh, uh, what a waste of time. I haven't tested that the game's complete. So it just goes back round and round and round again. Ah. Uh, Oh well, that was a, it, I suppose it wasn't a waste of time because it now shows me that this logic that I've done, right, let's get rid of the files, this logic, this mouse is dying on me, this logic, oh. <laughs> I bought some batteries because I knew it was going, I think I may have to use them. Oh, we'll keep going yet. Yeah. Because, like I say, I was doing this while Stuart was streaming his mastermind, trying to figure out how I could do nested nested ifs in machine language. And then it dawned on me, if, we, if I had a routine that I returned back the carry true or false, then I could use the carry and roll it into a resulting byte and then test the end result. So if it wasn't seven, that's three bits, say if it was five... Um, three that means the first test failed then it would say it's failed because one of the tests failed so that works I really like that so now the question was to bung in this is where I got to which was line I think I actually typed the name in, hang on. Yes, computer moves. So this is where I got to. So I was going to convert all the computer moves into machine code. So, computer moves. So basically, let's grab that, that basic, 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 basic. Right, computer moves is 110 onwards. So it's there. Cool. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of code to convert. Oh, 
we'll do it. We'll try it. Plonk. So, this is the code. So we're going to take it one step at a time. Right, so we don't need them. So we need some way to say that it's doing its, it's doing it. Okay, so. So this is going to be this. And it's going to be that. Right, so that's that one done. So this is LDA hash 10, store it in bar B. That's a new noise. Oh, thanks for the bits, Hacksaw. Cheers, matey. Right, so here we're going to ink Varby. And now we're going to start doing some testing. Now, I didn't fill the array with minus nines. I think... Where's the array builder? I filled it with two five fives. Yes, I filled it with two five fives. So that's what we're going to be checking for. So, so we're going to do the same thing here. So it's LDY Barbie. In fact, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that, do I? Because I can just do um, LDA book. Oh, Doctor, thank you. That's a new noise for me. Bits, bits galore. Right, board array, comma Y. So we're loading the board array, comparing it with our illegal move number which is FF so if it's equal to oh we should be able to do that branch if equal to basic line 190 okay so the next line so is it a is it equal to C? Okay, that's all right. LDA border right. Oh, hang on, we're we're already we've already still got it. We haven't changed the accumulator. Okay, so we can compare it with var C or computer. That's what's C is branch if not equal to basic line 210 okay same thing here because effectively we have not changed the accumulator so this is var human And that's going to the same thing but 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 no that's wrong that is wrong that's going to 180 this is going to line 
if it's not equal to line 170. Come on, copy. Which is here. Then we load uh, var computer, store it in var x, jump to basic line 210. Yeah, that's better. That looks better. Same with that. So that's going to line 180. So this is X. So basically it's saying load the human and store it into X. Then go to right. Okay, so basic line 180. So LDA question question we go to 480 after that okay LDA var underscore B compare it with hash 77 branch of carry clip branch of carry clear if it's less than to basic line 140 which is here so that goes round now if it is greater than that Then we just carry on. Jump to basic line 480, which is that one. Right. So we need to. Right, so line one, line five hours to go. Hey, Stuart, how are you doing, mate? <laughs> right, so basic line 210. This might be useful for you, Stuart, because you said you wanted to convert your mastermind into machine code. So this is basic line 210. So this is where these are going. Now, admittedly, we've just got REM statements in here, but these are the big jobbies here. These big, 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 big if statements. So, we now need to... Um, this will take five hours. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I've just proved that what I'm... What I did for those um, if those if statements work, so I think we'll be able to motor through all this lot. I gotta find a better chair. This one's, yeah, you know, this chair, right? Look, and it reminds me of um, Batman Two when when the penguin was in in his thing trying to drive the. Uh, Batmobile, and it was all over the place. Oh, this chair. I've got to buy a new chair. Buy a new chair. Moves about too much. Right. So let's start with this one. So we are... How many bytes was the basic version? Um...
Whatever that number is. Let's find the PRG. It is 4K. It's 4K, so that's why it was 1.2 over when I put the restrictions on. Is it within the rules to use the SID chip for random values? Yes, because I did it. I used it on um, Copycat. I used your routine grey defender on Copycat. Well, I used it. I mean, they they said they said we could um, we could use the I/O, you know, and that's why I was having the argument. I think it was with you and Mark about the color RAM storing data in the color RAM. It's color RAM. We're storing data by saying Hello, go. John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, I am sorry, I can't even, Elflin, thank you for following, um, it's like, you know, you, you and, you know, Great Defender and Mark was having this conversation about storing data in Coloram, why can't you store data in Coloram, you know, you are storing data to make it go yellow, you know, you're putting the value 7 in there, so why couldn't I put value 3 in there? As a as a as a nibble storage area, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's not against the rules. It's not. If I want to store yellow in there, then what's the difference in storing yellow or storing a seven? Hmm. Come on. Bring out the FIA. Bring out the rulesters. So you're saying we can't use colour. You cannot st use the colour RAM. Come on. Because if you're saying that, that means everything would be white. I will fight you tooth and nail about this. If you're storing a 7 in colour RAM, you're storing data. Just because it's showing yellow on the screen. Prove me wrong. Doesn't matter if I store yellow. Thank you, Andy. If I want to use the colour RAM as a 15-bit storage area, what's the to stop me? Bring out the big guns. I'll shoot them down with my 15mm. Or 50mm, that's it. There is no way they could prove that you couldn't be using colour RAM for what it was used for. Because you're just storing nibble data in there. So if I'm storing a, a 7, which is yellow, but it doesn't, you don't see it on the screen as yellow, who, who's to say? Exactly, Hacksaw. It, there's nothing stopping you using colour RAM as a storage area. You've just got to be clever how you use it. Think Formula One. They've got uh, they've got rules coming out their coming out their asses, yeah. There are always there's some clever dude that goes, "Oh, we can do that." But you're using colour RAM to store data, Mark. To make it colourful. Uh, so 
exactly how did Jensen Button win the world title? Because some clever dude invented the monkey seat. Uh, someone needs to clarify the rules, right? Because the rules state you can use the D, D area of RAM of the I.O. however you want. If you wanted to store a number in the background cut, I mean, there's two background color bytes that if it's not in multicolor mode, there's two extra bytes you can use. Oh, the split diffuser. Anyway, they asked us to be clever. Uh, they asked us to be um, inventive they asked us to try and push the limits of this competition i don't see what the problem is i'm being clever i'm using color ram as a store uh, as a half byte storage area sue me anyway that's enough of that <laughs> i am sure Oh. Mark, who's to say that me storing seven is not using it in a normal manner? Exactly, Grey Defender. What is normal? It it's that grey area. It's the boundary. Yeah, someone needs to say. As they say in F1, someone needs to clarify the rules. Hang on, but the rules are already clear. It's just because you're being inventive about how to break them. Anyway. Enough of that. I'm sure... <laughs> I'm not think I don't think F1 is a good comparison. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Right, back to this. Right, so I'm in the wrong chat box. So LDY bar B. Increase Y because we want to B plus one. LDX is going to be var x, the value that's in x, and it's equal. So we need to send it to there. Right, so let's do this because we need to re because I'm not sure if the oh, so it crashed. The kick assembler have had to restart. Oh, okay, Here starts the great debate. So if that's equal, so roll, 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 right. Okay. 
Yo, what's going on here? Ah. Roll left. That's roll left. Roll left. Yeah, roll left. What am I doing? Saying roll right. Ah. Cool, that would have been difficult to find if I'd left that in. Right, so that's that one done. So now we're doing it eat right. Oh, come on, John. So the second one is we're increasing Y again. <laughs> Rule clarification. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, it says, so this means it is okay to, right? Right to colour ram. I thank you very much. Hello. I'm writing to colour ram. Thanks, Doctor. There you go. <laughs> I haven't got a mic except for that one. <laughs> no, 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 no. It says this means it's okay to write to colour ram. It doesn't say what to use it for. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> oh dear. This is far better than create this is far better than recording videos. Oh, love it. Right. So this is now doing, so increasing Y again, which is B plus two. Testing for that and checking. Checking for X, yeah. So we roll it in. Now it's doing, what's E? Is that empty? Oh, it is. Bar empty, okay. So we're gonna do this again. But this time we are checking for empty, bar empty. So that would make it plus three, checking for var empty, and it's equal to. So we roll that test in. So we got one, two, three. So we've got three. So now we've got a fourth test, which is B. Oh, B plus 13. Okay. So we're already at three. So transfer Y into A, CLC, ADC 10. Transfer back into Y. And we're testing. So X is already set to empty, but I'm gonna load it anyway. I'll only optimize it if, we, uh, if we're running out of memory. But this time, instead of equals, We are going to run not equals, not equals. 
that one. And then we'll roll the end result. Right, so now we need to check that all these all these tests work. So it's so load bar test. Compare it with one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's four tests. Yep. Right, branch if not equal to line 240. But if it is equal to, if it is right, that means all the tests passed. Have I got an MV? Yes, I have. Right, okie dokie. Then load. No. LDA bar B. Ah, oh, B, 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 B. A, D, C. Oh, hang on. See it? Right. So we do it load var, so that would be the same. So C, C L, C, A, D, C, 3. Same number of bytes. Oh. No, no, no. Same number of bytes. Yep. So add 3. Store it in var. MV and then jump to line 50 line 60 so basic line 650 that's it that's that line done that is that line done Right, so basic line 240 is here. How big is how big is the one I'm doing? How big is the one I'm doing? Okay. Um, all right, let me, because um, it's going to error if I try and do it. So, um, let's make it obvious that I've rem that one out. make it off obvious that I've rammed that one out right so that should assemble which it does right let's find how can you how can you in Linux how can you get it to show the byte details it's ls minus something isn't it how do you get it to do the full details thing? Anybody Linux? Minus A, okay. Well that didn't do anything it. Oh, minus... Okay. Aha! Thank you. Oh, I need to be in bin, don't I? Nine hundred and thirty three bytes. So we are. We are well within the confines of our 4K at the moment. And to be honest, um, all the big stuff is done. All the text, I think, is done. So all that text that we've got in there is already in there. 
but I'm going to make it if I've got the space I'm going to prettify it up um, but let's do all this lot oh do you yeah really What's that? Do you dot? Oh, disusage. Okay. As you can tell, I'm not a Linux person. But I'm trying it. I'm seeing how I get on. Right, so we need to do this line now. So line 240 is the next one. So it's basically similar to this. But the only difference is... Is this a pie? No, it isn't. This is Ubuntu. Um, where is the performance monitor? Is that it? Yes, it is. Where's the other one that I did? Yeah. Ah, there it is. Spotted it. Yeah, this is a virtual bot. This is a Linux running on a virtual machine. Let's say I'm trying it out. I'm giving it a go. I'm giving it a go. I'm not going to drop windows just yet, but I'm having a go. I'm seeing what I can do with it. That's why I'm doing a stream using Linux. I mean, I haven't I haven't hidden that it's a virtual machine. It says it up here. Kick VS Code Dev Box. So, I thought I'd try it out and see how I get on with it. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of videos where people have gone to Linux. I mean, I mean, it's got all the C++ stuff on it and everything, so all the Pythons on it. That it's the Raspberry Pi that's got me into it. That's that's what that's what's done it. Anyway, what run Windows on Linux? Yeah, yeah, I know the Windows bars there. I mean, I could have cheated. I could have gone like this. Then you wouldn't have known at all. But I'm not a cheat. Right. See, my, my, my laptop is a modern i7, so it's got hundreds of cores. So, anyway.
But I, I do have a VM server that's in the other room. It's got 12 VMs running on it. It's even got the whole the half's Minecraft running on it. And that's running on Linux. Right. So, minus one. So, load A, far B. Set carry. Don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Keep it simple, John. Keep it simple. Load Y, VOT, bar V, D, E, Y. Then LDX, VAR, X. Yeah. And we are doing the equals. So we're doing that. Oh, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Got to keep resetting the test variable. Right, so we've DUI'd it once. I did it for my um, 6502. I did it for my uh, the Neptune Lander series that I the game that I wrote that then someone nicked and got game of the year for like I'm. Like I'm miffed. <laughs> I did it with Neptune Lander. I created Neptune Lander in BASIC. And then the first, the first, <laughs> the first draft, I converted it into machine code. Um, so I took that BASIC program, converted the machine code to understand. And then I wrote it. I wrote the... Um, I wrote it again, but this time using the Derek Morris's framework. The beauty of doing basic and then converting it is because as long as you keep the basic line in view, you can write the machine code to match, and that's what this is this is doing. So it's it's just a it's a it's just a case of thinking, um, quick uh, think not thinking quickly, thinking logically. Yeah, <laughs> I missed the music. <laughs> Richmond Mike did my music and I loved it. I thought it was great. That was the last episode, by the way. Because of Neptune Lander series, he's no more. Ep episode 40 was released last week. I shall miss, I shall miss the hours of agony. Yes. <laughs> Finally accepted defeat. <laughs> yes, mate. Yes. <laughs> right. So now we're doing this one here. Oh, we need to do the roll. Roll VAR test. So it... Now... So we've done the minus one, so we need to do the minus two. So all you have to do is just copy this lot. So that's minus two equals X, and then minus three is equal to E. Right, okay, so we can do the same thing again. So DEY, but change this to var empty. So minus three is that, and then we're doing plus seven. Okay, so transfer wine to A, CLC, ADC, hash 7, transfer, y, transfer A back into Y. <laughs> go for it, Doctor, go on, you know you want to. Right, so we're loading E again. So we're loading. So we're going to copy that. Put it in there. But this time we're doing not equal. Uh, 
Right, so we just do the same thing here. That doesn't sound like Minecraft. <laughs> right, 250. Right, so at all set, where's our line? So it's MV is equal to B minus 3. So var, so set carry SBC, store it in MB. Yeah, so that's that one done. So what we got here then? Right, that is all. Oh, that is exactly the same as this one here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this one. Put that above it. So basic line two fifty. And we'll copy all this lot. Yeah. Can you see him? Nico. You all right? You want to say hello? You want to say hello? Boo. Nico. Come here. Say hello. I like having this second camera. <laughs> I don't know where the other one is. Nico, where's your brother? I must be asleep somewhere. Right, so. So that's that one. We are on this one. So I've just copied it, I think. Yes. Right, so we are doing this again, doing it again, increasing, doing it again. Oh, oh. <laughs> With the way I turned it. Well, the camera's, revert, camera's upside down, so when it's pointing that way, it's pointing the right way. Um, all right. B minus one. So the third one is not as straightforward, so we're gonna have to load Y again. Load Y with far B. And then D E Y. So that's minus one. So that's B plus one. B plus two, B minus one. So minus one we're testing with empty, yeah. And then, right, okay, so we have to load. So that means that, oh, hang on. B plus seven, right. Me like a wally. LDA. Oh, why is the caps lock on LDA? Bar underscore B. That's it. That'll do that. So B plus 9. Plus 9. And we're testing it against empty and it's not equal to. 
Right, so the next line is 260, and we are B minus 1. So we can do this quickly. So load Y with var B, DEY, store Y in move. Right. Basic line 250. Do the reset. Uh, for test. So what are we doing here? Minus one plus two plus one. Plus 11. Okay. So we can effectively Yes, you're right. Thank you. So let's copy this because it's almost identical. So we're loading B, but this term with DEY to make it minus 1. X and we're equals. The next one is plus 2. So. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Thank you for following. Amir, thank you very much for following. Right, so this plus two can be done two ways. We can do LDY again, var B, and then do INY, INY. So that's five bytes. But remember, this is a program all about economies and efficiencies. And so if we do minus one, we can do three INYs to get plus two, which is three bytes. So that becomes plus two, because that will be INY would be back to zero, plus one, plus two. All about efficiencies, right? So we could have done LDY var B and then INY, INY, but that's LDR var B, INY, INY. So that's five bytes. We've just saved two bytes. So always keep that in mind. So that's an equals, and then B plus one, B plus one, that is a D, we don't need to do that because we're at plus two, so we just do D, E, Y, and that will put us back to plus one. And proud, mate, and proud, and proud. Right, so the last one is plus 11. So the, this is the quick way of doing it. Load var b, add 11, transfer it into y, and we're doing not equal. Okay, so the same thing again. So that's going to 270. And now we are loading and then i and y in it, add plus 1. How many cycles do I save? Oh, now you're being picky. We're, we're, not, we're not doing timing. We're byte, bytes. It's all about bytes. Right, so uh, var plus one, store it in move. So that's that one done. So now we're on basic line 270. So we're doing all right. It's almost copy and paste near enough. So let's clear out our test variable, var variable, variable. Oh, right. So I'm going to just copy this again. See what damage we can do this time.
So B plus one. So that's I and Y plus one is equal to X. So that's okay. B minus one. So this time. So plus one, zero, minus one. And then a plus two. So we're back. Zero plus one plus two is equal to empty. Then bar plus 12 is not equal to empty. God, it's almost copying and pasting this. This is great. So B plus two, so just do an, another I and Y. Store it in move. This one's going to 280. Right, so reset. I'm sure I can make that efficient as well. I'm just thinking I could save two bytes for every time. Yeah, I could save two bytes every time I'm using that. That's, if we're running out of memory, that's another efficiency we could do and save two bytes every time. Uh, uh, yeah, I suppose. Cyberfly, yeah, I, I suppose. Yeah, I'm technically doing a compiler's job. Right, so B1 is equal to X. Yeah, we're fine with that one. B minus 1 is equal to X. Yeah, we're fine with that. B minus 2. Okay, right. So it's minus 2. So that's another DE way. So minus two is equal to empty and then plus eight is not equal to empty. So it's B minus two. So load B, D, E, Y, D, E, Y, and this one's going to 290. Oh, I'm liking how this is turning out. Oh, one more to go, one more to go. And that's the the lines done. Ooh, basic line two ninety. Right. Oh, get out of the way, label. Reset. Might as well copy this because it looks new enough the same again. Right, so we're doing minus one to start with. Minus two. And plus one. Okay, so so at minus two, minus one, zero, plus one. Right, so then it's the last one is plus eleven, and it's not equal to empty. I and Y, store it in move. Right. So that's effectively all those, that's effectively all those tests done. Right, so 650's here. So I'll put in, I'll put in the basic line underscore 650. Have we got any other errors? Yes, we have. What's that one? 
480 so we'll put that one in as well there 480 Right, that's all the errors gone. Right, let's see how big it is now. Now we've done that section. Right. So we're only at OD. We're at OD. Oh, I don't think this is going to fit. I don't think this is going to fit. If we're OD already, we've got all this to do. Well, we'll carry on. We'll see how far we can get before we run out of space. Well, I'm using page, I'm using page two for variables and page three for the array. Can you hear that? Oh, I've started building my Voyager, by the way. I'll have to show you. I've started building Voyager. I'm up to... I'm up to deck, 11, deck, deck 12. I've built from deck 15 upwards, so I've just done... I've just done deck... Um, I've, frame, I've scaffolded out frame tw uh, deck 12, but I've done deck 15, 14 and 13. Um, this is this is the dark design spec for deck 11. That's deck 11. So if you imagine... It's like that. Hello, John here. Someone's hosting my stream. Oh, next thing they'll be nicking my code. <laughs> Thanks for the host. Um. Anyway, yeah. So I might, I might, I might, I might nip into the world so I can show you what I've done. But she's taking shape. The basic outlines up. I've, I've seen how massive it is. It's huge. You can use seventy-five percent. Of page, oh, I know I can use seventy five percent of page one. Um, yeah, right. Let's carry on. So this is down. So this is now testing whether the that there's a down. So it's all plus ten, eleven, and all that rubbish. Right. So we said branch if not equal to two ninety, which is back there. So we are going to 310. Right, so now we've got an extra test in here. Got an extra test, so. So we'll do that first, so LDA, um, Let's save bytes. LDY var b. Compare y with 20. And if we are greater than that, right, so um, branch if carry clear to basic 
line 320. So if it's greater than, oh, it's greater, it's greater than 20. It's not equal to 20. So we better put that in. Branch if equal to basic line 320. Right, so if it's equal to or less than 20. But hang on. No, 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 no. It's greater than 20. So we should put 21 in there. Because it's that BCS is equal to or greater than. Yeah, that'll do. That will do, because so we've effectively done greater than or equal to twenty one. Hello, Joe. Morning, 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 morning on day two of year twenty twenty one for the Aussies. You had your cup of tea yet? What do you mean? Right. That's how it was before. Greater than 20. But in machine code, we don't have a greater to, greater than. We have greater than or equal to, which is BCS. Yeah? So, to make it, to make it greater than 20, then we have to say, greater than or equal to 21. <laughs> and all the 68,000 does. So we're just changing that code to do that. Yeah. So we'll leave the basic line as it is. So basically it's to do um, greater than or equal to 21, which is implied greater than 20 all right right so then we start doing all our tests so let's go back up here oh we need to initialize this Oh dear. Yeah. So I'll do that. Yeah. So this is going to be slightly different. So we're going to be doing a lot of this. Because it's plus 10. So. Get rid of that. So this is set. Set carry. Subtract yeah. 10 and then we do subtract 20. Right, so push that to the stack, transfer it into Y. So is so this is B minus 10. We're testing X and it's equal, so we're right. Okay, the next one is the next one is minus right. Okay, so we can do this again. But the difference is we pull it, set the carry minus ten, which then becomes minus twenty. not pushing it I'm not pushing it so minus 20 is equal to X yeah and then the last one is we'll do this again it's too oh it's too big too many um, undos and stuff we can just do this tay so large Load that CLC ADC ten. So that becomes B plus ten. So plus ten. 
plus 10 is equal to empty. In fact, we'll push that because we're going to need it here. And so we'll bring it back. PLA. Add another 10. So this time becomes B plus 20. Not equal to do that. So that's four tests. One, two, three, four. Yes. Right, so what's the answer? So B plus 10 goes into MV. So VAR, so we're going to have to do it this way. CLC, A, ADC, hash 10, store it in MV. And then this one goes to 330. Well, yeah, 330. Got any reds? We got any reds? Three twenty. Oh, it's three three thirty, isn't it? Right. Let's see how much that took up just to do that one line. Oh no! Oh dear! Oh dear! We are gobbling bites up by the truckload. Got to be a, got to be a better way of doing this then. I thought I was being clever doing all this. There's got to be a better way of doing this. How can we do it? How can we do it? How can we do it? Yeah, there must be... A... I'll have to think about that. I think we can... I think we can streamline this even more. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, well, we'll carry on. Let's see how bad the problem is, but I think we're going to run out of memory. So that's up and down. Now we've got two diagonal tests. Um... Yeah. Use colour around. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's all this lot here. Because we're doing an awful lot of it. All this. So if we can, for each one of them, if we can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but I'm sure we can. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure we can um, put optimize it even more, like I've done with the test. You know, I've optimized it to do so we can just do a JSR for the test. I'm sure we can add another function before we do the 
the test to do to work out all these bees. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, well, the thing is, we can use. I mean, I'm using the cassette buffer for my array, right? So that's where the array is. There was enough free bytes there for the array. Um, and I'm using 02A7 for my variable storage. Because at the moment, I'm not using any zero pages yet. So there's all the zip, there's 256 bytes just sitting there that I could use. So I could put the array in there and then, you know, Yes, that's that's the that's what I'm thinking about. But that'll be we'll do that as part of the uh, optimization. So we'll see how far how bad the problem is when we finish. See how many bytes we blow through, and then optimize it to bring it back down. Because you know there's always ways of doing things. So what's next? Okay, mate. Okay. <laughs> no, mate, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, right, next one is just a standard test. So we'll we'll do that. We'll it's like this. I'm using five bytes every time I reset this test. We can use three, so we can save two bytes. It's just it's just optimization. Right, so we won't use that one, but we'll use the one before because it's very similar to that. Here we go. Oh, to be honest, it is the same as the one before, isn't it? So I'll grab it. Right. So the first one is add 11. So we're adding 11. See, all the tests are the same look. It's, it's equals x, equals x, equals e, not equal e. They're all the same. Equals x, equals x, equals e, not equals e. Equals x, equal. See, the whole thing could be made into a... The whole thing could be made into a routine. What? Why am I pushing the accumulator and then TAY? Okay. The reason I'm pushing the accumulator right here. So we're doing plus 11 plus 22. So if I add 11, then I push the result to the to the stack, yeah? So I've got my answer already. Then I transfer it to Y because that is the parameter, you know, the index. Y is the index of the board I want to look at. Then I pull it back, and then what I'll do here is add another 11, yeah? Add another 11, which then makes this B plus 22, and then transfer it to Y. Because, like I say, Y is the index of the board. So that's why I was pushing it to the stack, was to keep that number safe temporarily so I can bring it back and then add another 11 to it. It's like here, 
I'm minus an 11 here. So we already know that this number is 22. So I could then, you know, push this to the stack. And instead of doing a, a load, I could pull it, which is one byte instead of two. And then, so this is now saying minus 11. So set carry, subtract with carry. But because we're plus 22 and want to get to minus 11, so we're going to subtract 33, which effectively gives us a net minus 11. Yeah? And then minus 1. So push it, pull it. To get to minus 1, we add 10 to it. Yeah, so that becomes minus 1. So that's minus 11, add 10 becomes minus 1. Yeah, we're not destroying, we're not, we're destroying the accumulator when we run the test. So we need to hold the, the value safe away. So that's that one then. So plus 11 is equals, plus 22 is equals, plus minus 11 is equal to E, and then not equal to E is minus 1. So that means MV is B minus 11. So this is going to 340. So that's MV is B minus 11. Three forty. So we're going to do the same thing again here. So we're going to actually just cop. That's why I'm thinking that this this could be a yes, it's one byte process, and we're all about memory in in this game at the moment. Ooh, what happened there? Ooh, come on, stop playing. Oh, what's going on? It's better. Da, 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 da. So reset that. So plus nine, plus nine. So that's B plus nine. So we'll push it away. It's equal to X, that's what we're doing. So the next one is plus nine again. So we'll pull it, add another nine. So this becomes 18. And it's equal to X, yeah. Next one is minus nine. So this one we're going to minus 18. So we're at plus 18, and we've got to get minus nine. So that's subtract 27. Compare it with E, is it equals? Yes. And then B plus one. So just thinking. That's just add 10, isn't it? Which it's doing. So that's minus 9. Add 10. It's plus 1. Uh, so B, MV is B minus 9. 9. Right, so. Basic line what's the next one 380 put that there right have we got any errors no let's see how bad we're going 
Have we? Have we? Siri. O e six a. Wow. So he's taken a few bites to do all this lot. Definitely gonna have to do something about it. So we've got these three to do, and then that one, and then that one, and that one. And then we've got this lot. This is just to make the computer do its move. This is just to make the computer do its move. Oh, we'll carry on. We will carry on. Right, so now I'm, I'm I've had enough of doing that. Uh, reset test ver. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see how many bytes we save doing this. Let's see, I'm saving two bytes per go. There must be at least 20 lines in here where it's doing the same thing. So 40 bytes. Right, okay. Have we still got the output? Right, so we was... Oh... E six eight. Okay, let's see what we get now. Oh, okay. Look at that. O E five A. Whoa. Eight. Saved a bit. Six, what was that? Uh, tw ten. Eight. Fourteen. Save fourteen bytes just by doing that. And I'm going to save a few more because we'll carry on using it. So in there. So this is plus one, plus two, plus twelve. So we can go back to the iron iron wise part of this here. We can start doing this. So increase y by one. So this is plus one. Is it equal to x? Next one is plus two, so i and y again. Plus two. Next one is plus twelve. Oh, this is only a three stager. Right, so we can get rid of that one. Plus twelve. Is it not equal to empty? Right, so now we're only testing three constraints. 
So that's going to 390 and still going to 6, 650. Okay. Right, next one. Plus one, minus one, plus nine. So that's exactly what we've got here. So we'll just copy it. Exactly what we've got here. So plus one, minus one, plus nine. And then it's B is B minus one, D E Y. Okay, so that's 400. So minus 1, minus 2, plus 8. So it's the same thing again. Four hundred. So exactly the same thing again. I haven't I haven't been used yeah. <laughs> Oh you mean the comment Oh no, I haven't. Good spot. Naught minus one. Good spot. So this is minus one minus two. So D E Y is for minus one. D E Y for minus two. Gonna to have to have a point system for all you guys. Yeah, exactly, Great Defender. I think we're gonna to have to do point systems where I start giving people points for catching stuff. Definitely. Oh, here we go. Come on then, let's see if you win slots. <laughs> oh dear. How many points have I got? Oh, a hundred and forty four thousand points. <laughs> God, yeah, I should, I should spend it all. <laughs> right. So I've done that, and the end result is minus two. So D E Y D E Y. So that becomes minus two. Six seconds. It's got to be done by now. It's got to be done by now. Right, so the next one is 420. Plus 10, minus 10. Ooh. <laughs> the, I think the jewel's working as well. There you go. <laughs> 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 oh dear. What's 
Okay. Right, 420. Okay, so this is plus 10, minus 10. So that's the big one. So let's find the last time we did the... Uh, here we go. This is the sort of thing we want. Central heating still on. Hang on. Thought it was a bit warm in here. There we go. Turned it off. Right, okay, so we've just copied that, so paste it there. We'll get rid of that line because we don't need it. We'll Cut that and put that there. Right. Someone talking. Were they talking about Brexit? Yeah. What you was talking about Brexit? What? Was you talking about Brexit? Well, it's, it's all right, we can hear you. No, it's all right. It's been interesting listening to the conversation. Right, where are we? Oh yeah, plus 10. Right, minus, okay, minus 10, so that's going to be set carry. <laughs> right, plus 10, minus, if we're doing minus 10, so that we've got to subtract 20. Minus 10, and that's an equal, and then, Ooh. Right, we don't right, so we don't need to push it. We'll just load it straight off the bat. Load Y straight into it. L D Y VAR B because it'll be cheaper that way. Because it's B look. B not equal to empty. Then move is so we're not. So we're down to three tests. Three tests, so that's going to 440. And we are minus in 10. Right. Oh, getting close. Getting close. So I'm plus, minus, plus one. Okay, so that's the same as what we've got here. Ooh. Just shut the door.
it's, it's not unity. No, it's not unity. <laughs> right, so add nine. Then minus nine. So that's going to be subtract 18. And then plus one. And then minus nine here. So that's going to 450. Right, so we've got a new one here. So there's a pretest. So if B is greater than 11. So LDA bar B. Compare with hash 11. Make that 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if we are greater than 11. So if we're not, right, so BCC, which is less than 12, basic line underscore 460. So basic line underscore 460 is going to jump basic line have I got not one got 180 oh yes there 180 right then so plus 11 minus 11 minus 1 which is basically, yeah, we'll just nick this. Get the uh, clear test routine. Put that in there. So compare it with twelve. If it's great, if it's greater than or equal to twelve, then we come through. Right. So the first thing is eleven, and it's equal to x. Yes, we're fine. Minus eleven. So that's subtracting twenty-two. And then minus one, so we de in it's not equal to, and then we're taking eleven away. So then we do that. So where does four eight come into it? Look at the program. Where's 480 come into it? Oh, go to 480. Line 190. So we're going to uh, that because it was a. Ah, oh, that's because B was above 77, so it goes to 480. It's a long, long set of if statements, that is. Right. So, 650 is here. Right, we'll do 650. Because basically, that is saying load VOS computer. And then load LDY uh, var MV 
and then store it in board board array comma y that's what that's doing and then rts so that's so we just got this to do right have i got any red no let's see how big we are 5a oh look at that we are smidging away from breaking the rules Oh, FE6. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Right. I don't think... I don't think I've got a M array. No, I haven't. Oh, I have. Move array. There it is. Yeah. So I've got a move array. So we can use that. So um, 480, so that's gonna be load y with one. Okay. Um, Load zero. Yeah, if you do, hang on, Discord. There you go. There's a link so you can you can join. Yeah. Store it in move. Array, comma, Y, I and Y, uh, CPY, hash three. One, two, three. So that's three bytes. So let's do it from zero. Three bytes. Branch if not equal to four. So we'll have to remember that it's it's not from one to three, zero to two. You're not having much fun, are you, mate? Not having much fun at all. Right, so that little lot is that. <laughs> well it's doing it for everyone mate <laughs> even the channel owner <laughs> oh dear right so this is LDA0 RCT So we're doing a count. Right. Okay. Okay, so this is a looping thing from, but we're using X and Y. So we're gonna have to use B again. I'm 
gonna have to use B again. Right, so that's that. So basic five forty. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, this is Kick. I use CBM Prod Studio. I've played with um, Acme. I know it's syntax, so I can convert. So I don't use it, but I know it's syntax, so I can convert. It's always best, it's always better to have one that you use all the time. Me, I've got two. Kick at. Kickass and CBM Prod Studio, so right. No, it's not. CBM Prod Studio is not Acme, it is its own proprietary assembler. It will be, <laughs> yeah. CVM doesn't run on there. No, it's not available on Linux now. But it, I did do a video where we ran it under Wine successfully. Raven, one of my patrons, managed to get it working on Linux, and. It, he in my forum he did a step by step how to do it so I made a video of how to do it. Right then, so so. Right, so we got some not equal to's. Okay. So we'll grab this, because this is a not equal to. Put that there. We'll do our we'll do our um test clearer. So we're loading B and it's var computer. Roll that in. Why doesn't get destroyed so we can keep that? And it's not equal to the human. Right, let's get this. So we've got two tests. And if it's true for both of them, we're going to 600. So this is going to 550. But if it's true for both of them, it goes to 600.
Right, okay. So that's that. That should, right, not equal to that, not equal to that. Oh, there, equals, equals. No, it's not equals. Oh, hang on. That's not equals. Oh, I better check all these. That's not equals, not equals. So minus one, not equal to E, minus one. And that's equals, should be not equals. Not equals to E, that's that one. Not equal to E, it's that one. That's right. Minus two to plus eight. That's that's add ten, not nine, isn't it? Yeah, that's ten. Minus one to plus nine is nine. No, that's that's ten. Plus two to plus ten. Oh no, okay. No, 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 no. My bad. Not reading my own code. Right, we're back on track. Back on track. Oh, I see you, mate. Enjoy. It can't be work at the moment, can it? Oh, it's a s Saturday. Oh, he's gone shopping. I bet he's going shopping. Right, so basic line 550. So plus one plus eleven. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday today. Well, for me, it's Friday. I think some of the guys down under I think it's Saturday now. Right, so it's plus one, plus eleven. So it's probably going to be quicker to do this and save bytes doing this. I am white. Don't do that. And then LDY bar B, wherever it is, wherever it is, there. Nope. B. Add eleven. So then we do the test. So it's two tests. One, two tests. Right. 
So this goes to 560, but then we increase, so increase var CT. Now I know var CT has been reset because I reset it there. Right, so we've got, oh, there's something else as well. Move, move array CT is equal to B plus one. Okay. So. Can I store X comma Y? I bet it's, that's the combination I can't. But that's the combination I can't. Oh, can I? Can I? Can what? Oh, not zero page. Zero page. Store x comma y. Come on, help me out here. No. No. That is just pants. Right, so how am I going to do this? We've got an index B. I'm going to store it in another index. Right, okay, LDX bar CT. Um, LDY bar B. Y and Y transfer Y to, transfer Y to A, store A in move array comma x that will do it that will do it so basically doing the same thing again So B load B D E Y um, load that Ooh Add eleven That's nine not equal that is saying it's equal position equals position not equal thank you I didn't really want to do that oh come on Just make sure this is right. Oh, this is wrong as well. Oh, my mouse is failing. So it's equal to 
first and then not equal to on the second one. Increase CT, DEY. All right, guys. Um, oh, it's half past 11. You sure? Yeah. Right, we'll get this section done and then we'll uh, we'll call it and then we'll continue this tomorrow. Yes, mate. DMX, what's the matter? Yes, it is. Yes, sir, it is. So I wrote it in basic thinking it would fit. I wrote it in basic thinking it would fit and it was one and a half K too big. <laughs> yeah, there is a there is a video on my channel that I set this whole system up. I want to make a comment. Right, so load var, set the carry, subtract 10. Right, check it's equal to E. Oh, I've got to check all the other ones, haven't I? E. Not equal to E. Oh, this would have been disastrous. Um, equal to E. Not equal to E. That sorted that lot out. Okay. Right. Subtract 10. Lower E. If it's equal, then... Load it back in, not equal to E, then CT plus 1, so that's going to 580. Then it's B, load B, minus 10. Ooh. Set carry, set SBC. Oh, things crashed again. VS Code's crashed again. Store it in there. Right. Grab this lot again because it's the same. So minus 11 is equal to E, yeah, minus 1. Minus 1, 
minus 1 is not equal to e, then it's minus 11. So this is going to 590. Right, we're getting there. It's getting close, getting close. Who's me? I've gone quiet. Have I gone quiet? Have I gone quiet? So, all right. So we now need to copy this. So ah, oh, undo. Copy, not paste. Right. So minus nine. So L D Y. That's L D Y. Should be L D A. I better check the other ones. L D A. L D A. That's fine. That's fine. Is Discord not working? Oh, the Discord link's okay, yeah? Well, there it is if, if, if you weren't getting into Discord. There you go. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm distracted now. Where am I? Line 590, ooh. So minus nine, plus one, not equal to, CT's minus nine. Right then, so this is basic line 600. So increase var b. LDA var b. Oh, copy the holes. CP compare with 77. Now the it, the four next loop is 77 for i equals 77. So this needs to be um, branch set. So it's seventy eight. That's it. That's what I want to do. Branch can be set to basic line. 610 and then lower than or equal lower than no lower than 78 which is up to 77 we go back to the for loop which is here there So that is that. Right, LDACT.
branch if not equal to zero. Basic line which forty. Because if it's not equal to zero. I think we should call it a draw. Is that oh right, okay, we got what? I know this is adding more bytes, but we've blown it anyway, so. So that's that, right. So am I going to, s I'm not going there, am I? So it's, uh, where's the last print that I did? 4 it's way, way up here. There it is. It says that and then quits. Right, so basic 640 is a random number. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where are we going to 640? Okay. If CT is not equal to zero, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. So what happens is it picks out possible position, it picks out possible places and then we random, randomly pick out the move. Right. Um, a random number. Okay. Then we'll do that. Right, so compare it with our CT branch. zero to the number right okay branch if if it's bigger then go back to do it pick another number out
So that's going to loop through until we pick a number out that is less than CT, right? Then once we've got CT, we then transfer the accumulator into Y, load, move, array, comma Y, Store it in var mv. That's that. One thousand and eighty six. Oh, got a few of them because we've done a lot of copying and pasting. Ah! Oh, I've done it again. So oh, that's it. Okay, let's try again. Oh, look at that. We blew it up. Blew it up. Right. Okay, let's see. Where's our game routine? Right, so we pick a line, we print the board, we check to see if we've won. The computer has a go, prints the board, checks to see if he's won. Then we try again. Right, let's see if this works. Which I doubt, but it's worth a go. And it's nice to see me fail. Oh, I've left the breakpoint in. Where did I leave that breakpoint? Oh, there it is. This will be if this works first time. Why is this vice flashing? Why is it in warp? Oh, it's crashed. <sighs> it's just reported the problem to Ubuntu. Oh, it didn't like that one bit, did it? Why was it super fast? According to this, it's in warp mode. Oh, it's crashing again. And this is why... And this is why sometimes I don't like Linux. Stop being in turbo mode. Oh, it's crashed again.
Why is it in warp mode? How can I turn warp mode off? Uh, it just keeps crashing. It's just crashed again. It's just crashed again. Right. See if it um now it's in warp mode again still. Warp on also it's not on. Why has it suddenly gone into warp mode? What's warp what's turn off? Is it was it Alt W? There we go. Right. Right. Okay. We're back to normal mode. Okay. Four. Now this is where we wait. Because I think it's stuck in a loop. No way should it be taking this long. Right, what I'm going to I'm going to call it there. I'm not going to do. I might just see why it's in a loop. But what I'll do is I'll do another stream on this to take it to the next level because. There's a lot of optimization we need to do because we are 118D in size. So that's 200. It's nearly 512 bytes we've got to get rid got to op, um, optimize on. So that could be the next exercise. I'll I will try and find out why. Um, I'll try and find out why it's just stuck. It, well, it, it's probably just looping around and getting itself in a knot. And um, if I get it fixed up by the next stream, then we'll we'll try and optimize it, get it smaller, and try and see if we can make see if we can um, make the interface a little bit more interesting than what it is. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's been a long one as well. Of course, three and a half hours. Right, is there anybody that we can go ram raiding? Let's have a look. No, there's no one. Alright then guys. Um have a good have a good rest of the uh, New Year Day. I know there's only 15 minutes left. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.